Adept is a manufacturer of motion control, vision, uh, and robotic systems. Uh, we manufacture uh, a variety of robot mechanisms, uh, some of which I will show you here, along with all of the controls, uh, uh, electronic controls, and software controls uh, to make these things do very high performance things uh, for manufacturing. In the semiconductor industry, you've got a relatively unpleasant environment for humans to work in where you're in a clean room, you're, you're you know, dressed with uh, uh, smocks and uh, breathers sometimes. Uh, and so handling Smith pods is just repetitive work that people do not enjoy doing. Uh, and so also they uh, expose the product to dirt and contaminants that come from people. Um, so uh, this is a product we call the Handler. Uh, it's built on top of our Lynx autonomous mobile robot. I heard the robot behind me. I didn't even look behind me to see if it would run into me. So our Lynx robot has a, a scanning LiDAR system that is actively scanning all the time, looking for obstacles and using that same system to map the walls and navigate through the building. Uh, so it will autonomously just drive from here to, say, the uh, tech center over there. If you ask it to go there, it will, it will drive there. Here, here's something that's um, pretty interesting. You actually design, engineer, and build these robots here in California. What's up with that? I thought it was expensive to do things in California. Um, we have some good reasons for doing it. Uh, we certainly do all of our design here because we think we have uh, good technical talent that we can locate in the Bay Area. Uh, the company has a history of forming from the Silicon Valley and supporting the electronic in industry with automation. Uh, we do a certain amount of manufacturing locally uh, right here in Pleasanton, about a half mile away from this building. Uh, we do use contract manufacturers uh, for things that are made in high volume and have some of the mechanical assemblies uh, done overseas put together. But we do do system integration and final test here in Pleasanton. Uh, and so when we look for a software guy, it can't just be a pure software guy. It has to be a software guy that's motivated by mechanics, understands uh, you know, control systems, how something might resonate, something might vibrate, and then how his software is going to work to solve that problem. So Ruben, how did you get involved with this? So um, robotics was something I always enjoyed, and I started off with studying electrical engineering. And when I started my master's, I got really involved in robotics and really loved it. And after I graduated, I moved over here. Think back to when you were in high school. What would you tell another high school student who might have an interest similar to yours, what would you tell them to do? Um, I would just tell them to go try to build something they like to do and try to program it, control it, and have fun with it. Hi, Christine. I'm Dick. So nice tell us what you do at Adept. Um, well, right now I'm the marketing coordinator for Adept. I actually came in early this summer as a marketing intern. Got hired on full-time about a month ago. Great. You know, when I was a student, I didn't really think about marketing for a robotics company or any sort of B2B really, but it really opens your eyes to see all the different types of jobs that are out there. Anything that you see needs to be marketed to get it out the door. What do you do at ADEPT? I'm the operations manager here at ADEPT. So tell our audience what an operations manager does. So operations manager is in charge of the manufacturing floor and environment, which has uh, receiving, shipping, logistics all underneath, the production floor, the supervisors for planning, and also the procurement team, supply wow. chain and manufacturing and test engineering. You know what, think back to when you were uh, in high school. What kind of advice would you give you know, a young girl just starting out today, I mean, follow, to follow in your footsteps? Because you're, you're really a role model, right? Right. So it's a matter of just you know, figuring out what it is that drives and motivates you and what you're good at. Everybody's good at something, and so when you find the one thing that you're good at, just excel at it and figure out you know, what you can do as part of it to develop it and make it a career.